Hello, my name is Liz Scott, and hopefully you are back for more Copilot. In this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is Excel. So there's a lot of noise about how you can use Copilot in your Microsoft 365 environment, but I wanna share my insights in the Excel environment. I've got some good and I've got some, hmm, it needs a little bit of work, but here's some of the things that you can do with Copilot inside of Excel currently. All right, so you should be seeing my screen and what I've got pulled up is inside of my Microsoft 365 environment, you have to be inside of your OneDrive or SharePoint in order to access Copilot. But from here, I can actually pull in the Copilot functionality. I am working inside of a table. You must be working inside of a table environment. It will, Copilot will convert your data for you if you are not using a table. But here's some of the things that I want to do with my data. I want to be able to ask it some questions. I want to convert some data and I want to pull in some pivot tables. Those are some of the ways that Copilot is working well. Some of the things that I have noticed is the processing time is slow. So you need to work with a smaller set of data, kind of around 500 lines. Anything more than that, I see that it starts to time out. But here goes my first prompt. So I want to ask Copilot to reformat my date. So reformat my date using the date or the month, the day, and the year. All right, so it did it. It took about a minute for that prompt to engage. And then I'm able to see over here in column C that it did turn my dates into the format that is my preferred method. That's nice. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna ask it some general information about this particular table. What I've got here is I'm gonna ask Copilot to create a pie chart of the quantity of sales per salesperson. So the information that I'm working with is a bunch of sales information. I've got salespeople, what items were sold, the dates, and then also the total of those sales and then um, the client name. All right, so the first thing that I have came back and it told me the number of rows by salesperson. So I could actually add to a new sheet. What this does is essentially turns my, uh, my workbook into several sheets of information and it looks like I've got a new pivot table here. So I can see each of my individual salespeople and the number, the quantity of items that were sold. So I can even see my formula if I wanted to dig in a little bit deeper to that formula and do something different with it. Let's go back over to our table so we can ask more questions. One of the things I wanna do next is actually add a column to my table. So I wanna actually ask Copilot to create a commissions column using the total sales times 20% and I want it to be in dollar values. So that way I know how much each of my salespeople are making per line. All right, so it came back and it's telling me what my formula is. So I can actually see this a formula. I could get it to explain the formula if I wanted some more breakdown, or I can just go ahead and say, yes, please insert the formula for me. And now I can see by dollar value, how much by line will each of my sales uh, people be making or their efforts. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna ask co-pilots, so what is the total amount of commissions to be paid out? So for that expected time period, what are the totals of column G? Okay, so I can see that I actually have an answer here. So the sum of the commission is $14,508. I could go ahead and add that to a new sheet. Um, that way, that information is parked to be looked at and viewed later. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to ask another question of Copilot. So I'm back in my table and I want to ask Copilot to create a line chart for each salesperson and the total commission earned. So here's my prompt that's came back to me. I've got my information that I can view over inside of Copilot. I think another way to be able to view this information is again over inside of a new uh, sheet. So the information is actually being calculated in pivot tables. So commissions by salesperson and sales date. 
So I've got my total to be paid out. Again, I can see that value here. I could filter down a little bit further if I wanted to see more information, but I have one more question that I want to ask Copilot. So let's go back over and let's ask it. All right. So my last question that I want to ask Copilot is create a pivot table to the services sold totaled by the total sales price, including the number of units sold. So now looking at this information, I can see all of my services that were sold. I can see the quantity of each that was sold. So I could actually resort this. I'm working with a smaller set of data, but if I had tons, hundreds of lines, then maybe what I would want to do is put this in some type of filtered order. So here's my final thoughts. My final thoughts are, I really think that Copilot has got some nice functionality, especially if you're wanting to see graphs, bar charts, line charts, any of that type of information, pivot tables. It's doing a really nice job of creating that for me. I didn't have to do anything to go up inside of the ribbon, understand some of the functionality of Excel. All I had to do is actually ask those props. Where I do see some limitations is I have um, limitations around the amount of data that Copilot can process. Anything more than 500 lines, at least at this point right now, I see a stall out in Copilot. So I had to reduce my data set to make sure that I was able to have that data process within that one minute mark. The other thing that I could say right now is I think that Copilot in Excel is going to continue to grow in its functionality. So I do think that whenever you're learning something new and the product is really in this kind of testing out beta phase, that it is nice to grow with your skills along with the skills of the technology that you're using. So I would still suggest getting familiar because I think that this is the direction that we're seeing a lot of products move. Being able to ask AI our questions and then have that computed for us and then have that generated response provided. So I think that I would continue to grow with this product. I think that a lot of the other functionalities inside of Copilot have came along a little faster, but I do also think some of those other areas, Word, um, email, and inside of Teams, and inside of PowerPoint, all of these are functionalities that are in the process of growing. This is something that has been on the horizon for a while. We've needed AI and a lot of the work tools. So which one's smarter at this point right now, AI or the humans up for debate still, but, in a year or two, ask me again, and I might not say the humans. <laughs> this has been a fun tutorial. I will see you again for the next one. Make sure to comment to tell me what it is that you're wanting to see in Copilot and make sure to subscribe. See you soon.